today, let's start today's training. You can hear my screen, you can uh, see my screen, right? Today I will, I will introduce the subroutine uh, of 5V. So this is uh, three points. First, uh, what's subrouting and uh, what it's used for? Uh, the subrouting is to spell it a certain module in the, in our main program. So. So in this way, we, we uh, uh, make our programs more easily and uh, more clearly. When we, uh, usually, the program will execution uh, from, from start to end. And uh, in during this, ex uh, during this execution, when we use a call instruction to call our subrouting, for example, when, a, uh, when our main program executed to here, and when we use a, and then we use a call instruction to call our subrouting, then uh, and our PLC will execute uh, execute our subrouting. After the subrouting is running over, it will just it will return to our main program and uh, continue until the uh, the whole whole PLC pro uh, whole PLC project is running running to end. Our subrouting function is a little, little similar with other high-level language function, but uh, our sub subrouting have have no parameters to enter and uh, have no return value. It's just uh, running when we call it. If we if we don't call don't call it, it will not run it. Here are some, are some points need, need to pay attention to. First, when we're using timer in subloaded, the output will not be reset when we uh, when the subloaded is not called, for example. This project. Uh, for a subrouting is here. We can build subrouting here in our project uh, manage manage. Uh, right click and uh, click new to build the subrouting, name it, and click OK. So uh, when we need to use our uh, subrouting, we just, just need to list this instruction, call it, call, and uh, our subrouting name. Here I have a subrouting called timer, and then now, Download this to PLC.
So now in our in our main program, here I turn off the M0 to code to call my subroutine camera. So it, uh, the camera will not not begin to harm me because uh, M M Y is turn turn off. Change change the status of M Y. You can see uh, T zero is begin to turn me, and after five five seconds, you can see uh, in our in our main program, the Y uh, the Y zero is output output now. So return to return to this point. The time, uh, the, the timer output will not be reset when the subroutine is not called. So here, if I turn off the M zero. Now I'm not calling, uh, calling this subroutine, but we can see the time zero is still on. Even through, we are not calling this subroutine now. So if we want to turn off it, we need to call the subroutine. And uh, in, in subroutine, we turn off the M1. Then the T0 will uh, turn off, stop to output Y0. And also, also if we are not calling this subroutine, we are not call timer. Even we turn turn on turn on M1, it will have it want T0 will not timing because we are not calling this timer. So whatever we changed in this timer, uh, in this subroutine, we have no influence because we are not calling this timer. Only when we call the subroutine, then the, then the application will be available. The second point, it's not allowed to uh, call subrouting. Uh, for example, we can't call subrouting one in subrouting two, and uh, at the same time, call subrouting two in subrouting one. For example, In this project, I have built two uh, subrouting, test one and the test two. In test uh, in subrouting test one, I call test two, and uh, in subrouting test two, I call test one. So in this 
in this situation, when we call uh when we call subroutine test one, the PLC will have an error. It shows that the execution error because uh, in subroutine in test we call test two and in test two we call test one. They will have no end, so PLC will have error. So we can't use in this way. The second, uh, the third point, the subroutine can be nested up to 32 levels. Uh, it means we can code sub one in sub zero and the code sub two in sub one and so on max to 32 levels. If the level is ex exceed 32 levels, the PLC will also report a, <clears throat> an error. Let's clean. clean the error first. Because my last uh, my last program make the PLC in error states. After after clean clear the error, we need to uh, turn off, uh, stop and uh, run our PLC again. So now PLC is normal. So look and look at this demo uh, demo program. Uh, in in main in main program, I and the uh, the in this program I I add one two five sub routing. The in main in main program when I when we turn, turn on M0 to code time one, you can see in time one, after uh, one second, we code time two. And in time two, after two seconds, we code time three. And also after three seconds, we code time four. And the code time five. Let's try what will happen. After we code, uh, we code time one. We can see uh, this timer is begin to timing one by one. Make this time one. Yes, I'm. First, we call time one, and uh, after one second, time one, uh, time T one will turn on, and then T two, T three, and uh, T T four, and uh, here when T four is turn on, we output M two, the M two will will clean clean all all the timer, so it will. Uh, cycle to running, cycle to turn on. T3, T4, and, uh, and T4 is turned on. All the timer will clean. 
be a big link. So they were going on one by one again. Now when, <clears throat> when I turn off, turn off the M0, you can see the timer is stopped to timing because uh, we are not call, call this timer. So all, all, uh, all other, other subrouting will not be called because in the first the subrouting, but because in the first the subrouting is not be called. So other will not be called uh, together. So in this in this demo demo program, I have at five level, five levels of looting. And according to our to, to this point, we can add a max to 32 levels. Do not yank this limit. Or the POC will have an error and the stop to working. So do you have any question about how to use subrouting? You can ask me directly or type your question here. This function, uh, we usually use subrouting when we when we develop some big big program. We can use subrouting to to make our program more easily and uh, easily to understand and uh, clearly. For some. Uh, a certain module of program, we can use a subrouting to, to program it. And when we need, we just call it in main program. So we don't need to, uh, to type the type it always when we need it. There are no questions. Today's training will finish it. So uh, it's easy to understand. A simple function. Thank you for your time.